Hi, I'm Zoe Cunningham. I'm here with Peter Bennett, who is one of the best-known British players. Hello, I like the way you phrase that. Best recognised, if not one of the best players. <laughs> <laughs> no, no insult in terms of it. Do you think there is a backgammon scene in the UK? Well, it's definitely a scene. Um, and a lot of the regular players, or all the regular players, know all the other regular players. Um, and there's a lot sort of hidden below the surface who just play maybe online at home. Um, or for fun, um, and um, we want to increase the game, make it more popular and get more people out to tournaments because they're such good fun. Absolutely. So how, how, what are the best ways to bring people in? How, how can you communicate how much fun that game is? Um, it's very difficult because um, to someone who either doesn't know how to play or only has a rudimentary knowledge, to see it filmed, to see the board on television, they won't really get a feel for it like they would for poker. You don't have to know much about poker to understand it on television. <clears throat> so you've got, got to get people to go along to a local club, I think. And actually, we started a club in Ealing, where I live, uh, about a year ago, and uh, advertised it local online even today. And started off with you know, four or five people and gradually in the year we've increased it and 16 came along to the tournaments uh, about a week ago. So I think that's how you get more people interested in it. Um, and then once they're playing they get to hear about other bigger events such as the London Open. Do you think there are a lot of players in the UK who maybe play at home with their family and they're not aware, that they, they don't even know that they could go to a backgammon club? I'm sure there are thousands of people who just play for fun and probably think they know almost all there is to know about the game and that they're good at it and they don't realise they're not and they don't realise how great a game it is and how much better they could get if they, they played more and played better players. So um, those are the people we've, we've got to reach and encourage to play more because I think backgammon has suffered for the last decade or more from um, losing people at the top. The top players realise there's, there's not enough money in the game so they've all moved over to poker and we're not replacing them. We're not encouraging new players to start. So that's why backgammon has, has suffered really and something you know we ought to do more at the grassroots level to get people to play in local tournaments and then eventually they will get better and play in bigger events. What kind of people have you found have come along to the Ealing Club now you've started it? Quite a variety. Uh, we had um, a lady who's um, um, a retired sexologist. <laughs> I don't even know what a sexologist is. <laughs> Sex therapist. Oh, okay. And She's a widow and um, she was looking for new hobbies and she tried poker and didn't like it. So she stopped, tried backgammon and, you know, she liked that more. So she, she's uh, quite keen. And then a lot of people also, I know from the regular backgammon scene, have started to come along to Ealing as well as it's grown. Um, but others as well uh, who, who've only ever played with friends or at home, and then they hear about it, um, that there's a local club, so they give it a try. And some of those might only come once, but others, you know, take a liking to it and, and come regularly. When people are playing backgammon for money, and sometimes for large amounts of money, sometimes practices can get a bit sharp and people can be very, very keen to take advantage of other players. Do you think that can put off new players? Um, new players might have that perception, but I think that's only a problem in big money tournaments. Um, in, the, in the small entry fee tournaments, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I think it very rarely is a problem. Certainly in Ealing, where we have the small tournaments for five, 10 or 20 pounds entry, it's all very friendly and sociable and um, we never have any, any problems with people taking advantage of it, things like that. 
lovely. Well, best of luck with backgammon Ealing. It sounds like a lovely place to come and play backgammon. You must come along. <laughs> <laughs> I send you invites. <laughs> See you there.